Okay, sorry for that abrupt ending to the previous video. So let's uh, continue our discussion of N-linked glycosylation. So uh, when you add an isoprene uh, group uh, onto, um, onto something, it's known as an isoprenoid group. So this final, uh, this final uh, group that we've added on, well, here, is an isoprenoid group. And on the end here, we're also adding a uh, saturated isoprenoid group. Okay, so a saturated isoprenoid group is being added on at the other end, and also off this final carbon here, uh, to actually make dolichol an alcohol, and to make it earn its name, it needs to have an alcohol group, so we put on our alcohol group here. So that now is the structure of a dolichol molecule. It has, uh, it's built from isoprene, a polymer of isoprene, and then at the end you have this isoprenoid group here, and then at the other end you have this saturated isoprenoid group with that alcohol group at the end. And that's the structure now of this uh, molecule dolichol. Okay, and uh, the number of isoprene uh, molecules that you have polymerized together in the center here is arbitrary. It can be any natural number. It could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 100. Uh, it's a long chain um, polymer. Right, okay, so what do these dolichol molecules now do? Well, basically, dolichol is a molecule that's going to sit in the ER membrane here. So let's draw it sitting in the ER membrane here. Okay, and it's going to be the molecule on which we build our glycosyl, um, our glycosyl group that we're going to add on to our protein, basically. So here is dolichol, uh, drawn now just as a turquoise box here. Okay, so I'm going to now show you how we're going to build our uh, glycosyl uh, unit that we're going to add on to our protein, basically. And initially, what's going to happen is that initially, Dolichol's hydroxyl group is going to be facing the cytoplasmic side, so this will be facing this way. Right, and the other thing to say is that it's not going to be on its own. It's going to have a phosphate group linked onto it. So let me show this. So uh, should I try and squeeze it in there? No, I don't think I will. So we'll draw, uh, we'll draw the ER membrane again here. Okay, so here's the ER membrane. There we go. And we will show Dolichol here as a uh, turquoise box that is in the ER membrane. Okay, and it has this hydroxyl group that is now currently pointing out into the cytoplasmic uh, aspect, basically. So this is the cytoplasm here, okay, and this is the ER lumen in here. Right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to add a phosphate group onto that hydroxyl group. So let me show a phosphate group here. So a phosphate group consists of a phosphorus atom double bonded to an oxygen, like there, and then we have two hydroxyl groups coming off here, like so, and then an oxygen singly bonded to it with a negative charge on there. Okay, so there's our phosphate group, uh, and after this we'll just denote it as a pink ball, basically, so we'll denote it in this red colour here. Okay, now how do we link this phosphate group onto our hydroxyl group of our dolichol molecule? Well, what we do is we form a phosphate ester bond between the phosphate group and the dolichol molecule, also sometimes known as a phosphoester bond. Uh, so what we're going to perform is a condensation reaction where we take off the hydroxyl group from the phosphate group and uh, also a hydrogen off the hydroxyl group of dolichol. And uh, then what we're going to do is those will go together to form water, which is why this is known as a condensation reaction. So these together will form water. And then the free bond of this oxygen will then bind to the phosphorus. So what we're going to end up with, basically, is a dolichol molecule, which we will denote as this turquoise box, with a phosphate group added onto it, which we'll denote as a pink circle. Right. Okay, so that's where we've got to so far. Now what we need to discuss is what the first... Uh, the first, um, well, the first uh, monosaccharide that we're going to add on to this uh, dolichol molecule is going to be. And the first monosaccharide that we're going to add on in order to make this glycosyl um, uh, structure is going to be an N-acetylglucosamine. So let's turn over onto the other page and discuss the structure of N-acetylglucosamine. 
Right. So N-acetyl glucosamine is a um, it's a monosaccharide. So here we go. N-acetyl glucosamine is what the first monosaccharide that we are going to add onto uh, our dolichol in order to um, produce uh, our um, our glycosyl unit that we're going to add on to our protein, which is in the ER membrane. Okay, so N-acetyl glucosamine, it's a modified version of glucose. So firstly, what we have to do is discuss how we go from glucose to glucosamine, and then we need to discuss how we go from glucosamine to N-acetyl glucosamine. Okay, so let's start off with the structure of glucose. Okay, so um, 